From Great Britain, a nation whose seafaring tradition is second to none, comes a flotilla led by HMS London. Her spokesman is a young man from the south coast of his native land. I'm William Lumsden, I'm a marine engineering mechanic on board of Manchester ship London. As a mechanic you work either in the boiler room or the engine room, which is maintaining the main engines. Also on board the ship we're on we have hydraulic systems which we have to deal with, ventilation systems, all the ship's boats we have to maintain these. A marine engineer, you couldn't just say he does one thing, he does about, oh I'd say, you know, ten different jobs around the ship. If you're watch keeping, you get very little spare time. But if you're day work, that's working like a, an eight till four, then you, um, you have an evening off every evening. In the time-honored tradition of the British Navy, Bill Lumsden grew a beard on one of his Atlantic crossings. When you get off the ship, it's just, you go to your hometown, mine being Brighton. You go from one way of life to another. I'm afraid I've fallen trapped. I'm in love. I want to you know, get married and everything. Well, I've been all around the world, and there's nothing to beat the local pub, the English pub. This is owned by my uncle, and I think it's the best place you can spend your evenings. Well, what I think the English pub has got over any other pub or bar or whatever you want to call it over the world is atmosphere. It is a meeting place for every class of person. You come in here, you can discuss anything you want to. You can, you can have a quiet drink, you can play darts or bar billiards. You can do literally what you want. It's a friendly atmosphere. There's an atmosphere of English pub that you cannot find anywhere else. We go to London. Not that often. We've got friends up there. We do enjoy going to London. Something different, you know, because I think London's the best city in the world. When we go up to London, we like to go out either for a meal or to the theatre. You get there and you feel like you're in a complete dream world. There are lights flashing everywhere. Everybody just seems happy. It's just sort of a magic. When you're away from like my fiance, it's uh, it's a terrible thing, really. It's not as though if you've got a job where you go home in the evening and you're seeing your wife or your loved ones whenever every night, you know you're going to be away for six months. I think you you begin to appreciate them more. I really joined the navy when I was 16. I joined, it, I suppose, because I've always had lived by the sea. I've always had a yen to go to sea. I've always had to be on it or in it. As I say, I live here in Brighton, which is by the sea. I think the Navy is important to my country, I think to any country. It's a representation of that country to another country. I'd say I was a representation of England. I think that being in the Navy makes you proud of being an Englishman. You make yourself proud, yeah. You become uh, a bit patriotic, I think. The pattern's forming. It's no mystery why men follow the sea.